YouTube, what's up, man? It is me, Malcolm Cook, y'all. It's Malcolm Cook of the Malcolm Cook Show. This is the um, fourth episode uh, this week, and um, I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be showing you guys a video as I look at it, um, and uh, I'm going to talk about it. So, on July 3rd, um, I turned 29 years old, and... Um, it's my last year in my 20s. That's wild. That's wild as shit to say out loud. But it's my last year in my 20s. And um, I wanted to start I wanted to start the last year in my 20s off with a bang. So I went skydiving for my first time. Um, I've always wanted to go skydiving. It's always been a regressed desire of mine to go skydiving. But I just haven't had... Last year was Corona, so it wasn't on my it wasn't on my priority list. The year before that, I just genuinely forgot, and then it wasn't on my birthday, so I was like, "Fuck!" And then, um, and then the year before that, I ended up booking work, and then, well, I was busy, so it just always ended up not working out um, for me to go skydiving. So this year, the cards aligned, and I jumped out of an airplane. So. The first clip here, I don't, I'm not going to look at this one with you guys um, because I don't have it edited yet. I don't even know if that was any, any of y'all business, but fuck it. I just shared it. But all right, so the first, the first, uh, this is me walking to, walking inside. What's up, y'all? This is a, a, a special installment of the Malcolm Cook Show. Um, y'all get to see me in my real life. I am 29 today, it's July 3rd, 2021, baby, and uh, I'm about to jump out of a motherfucking airplane, y'all. So, y'all can see what this looks like. I'll tell y'all all about it. I need a dose of adrenaline, and this is what we're doing today. Cut that camera, baby. Cut that shit. Okay. And uh, right here, I'm genuinely not nervous. <laughs> I'm genuinely not nervous, like, at all. Um... I'm really not nervous. And so then the next step is we went to the, uh, we had to do the registration and everything. And as you're signing up, there's a little dude talking or whatever. And in the background, he says something along the lines of like, if you die. All right, y'all. Apparently, I'm signing my life away. I'm pretty sure I didn't read any of this stuff, but I know it says something along the lines of, if you die, they now fall. Uh, don't be drunk or high. You're not a, you're not on crack right now. Simple shit. You know what I'm saying? It's also very positive time. I'm really just talking again to try to uh, ease the pain. It's like, nah, I'm just playing. I'm, I'm excited though. Right, that's all. Like I'm like, damn. Luckily, I'm not worried about death right now. You know what I'm saying? But um, but uh, yeah. So that was pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna queue up. I'm gonna queue up the video now. Uh, so basically, I went to Pierce. Uh, yeah, I think it's called Pierce. Yeah, Pierce skydiving. Um, in Pierce, California. It's about an hour and a half out of Cal uh, out of Los Angeles. Um, hold on, my bad. <clears throat> I had a brain fart as to what I was doing on my phone. I ended up going to Instagram and shit, but it's like, no, nah, I ain't go to Instagram. But July Libraries Downloads. All right, here we go. All right, so. Basically, right here, the dude has a camera on his head. Malcolm, what's up, my man? How you doing? What's up, my good son? How are you, man? Good. How you feeling right now? I'm feeling, man. I am feeling for sure. Okay. <laughs> um, so, what what made you decide jumping out of a plane was a good idea? Well, today is my 29th birthday. Happy birthday, man. Thank Thanks you, for coming thank you. Today, I'm turning 29. Okay. So, I was like, uh, it's been a bucket list item for years. But I'm like, you know what? I'm going to cross this off today. But we're doing it, right? Dead, and then you so. can uh, add, add some more stuff to the bucket list. Exactly. Like coming back in your life. Exactly. Right. I wanna. Uh, the next thing I wanna do, I wanna have a threesome with some midgets. <laughs> Yo, uh, so, wild story about that part. The threesome with the midgets thing 
it's super wild that I said that because um, how it ended up going down was later on that evening, I went to um, the Pretty Little Things party that was hosted by Tiana, uh, Tiana Taylor. That shit was lit -y. It was a lit -y party, mate. Um, I enjoyed that shit, but I'm going to pop it up on the screen. Here's a picture of me later on that evening <laughs> with three little people. <laughs> I was genuinely joking, man. Like, that's not a joke I tell often. It's not a joke. You know what I'm saying? It was just like, I, that's what I came up with. I thought it was funny. And what's super random is that... What's super random is that, like, fucking... Hold on. All right, I'm fucking up, y'all. Bear with me, because like, I'm, I'm trying out this new format. I didn't even pause the video. I bet. So, yeah, so I said that. I told the dude that or whatever. And the dude kept talking about little people for the rest of the day because he, he legit was into that. <laughs> that shit was random. All right, back to the video, y'all. All right, all right. Yeah, I can, I, I can get the most out of that. All right, are you ready? Yes, sir. All right, I don't have any minutes on the plane, but let's go have some fun. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. Bye, bye. <laughs> Yeah, so, all right, so we jumped. All these people are camera people or people that are uh, expert jumpers already. It was just the only people that were doing it for, like, a tandem first-time thing was uh, myself, my woman, and another lady there, um, and her name was Ashley. Yep, so that's us. All right, um... I can cut the music down. All right, so that dude, I don't know what his, what his deal was, but he just jumped out. <laughs> he, he was like, what's up, guys? Are you scared? I was like, nah, man. And right here, look. All right, so let me pause this real quick. So, um, at a minute and 41 seconds, I'm just saying that so I can pause it right on the edit. But anyway, uh, I wasn't. I can't lie to you, the entire time that I was like on my way up into the sky, I legit wasn't scared, man. Like I was more so like anxious and excited. Um, rewind, like so our, our appointment was at, was at two o'clock and we ended up not jumping until like four, four fifteen or whatever. And in that time I like smoked a J, smoked a cigarette. I, I literally ate and took a nap all within a, like two hours and uh, they, Called our name over the intercom, and then you saw me in that step. All right, so look. All right, here we go. And I jumped out. Hey, Young, right here? All right. All right, right here, yo. I swore to God that I was about to faint. Like, I was scared at this point. Like, but then I say about, like, 15 seconds, 30 seconds into the jump, I was, like, good. And so how, I, how they get in this shot is that a guy jumped out before us. And he like held my hand and he spent. That shit was pretty cool. So look, I wasn't I wasn't worried no more. Oh, that's me said I love you, mom. But look, I wasn't worried no more. More so, I wasn't worried. What what what? That's at two minutes and twenty two seconds. Um, I wasn't necessarily worried. Actually, I wasn't worried at all. After the first 30 seconds, I was like, bro, you're about to fucking die. Like, you're about to faint. Then I came to. I was good. I didn't faint. Then I was I was fine. Like, you know what I'm saying? But the hard part that I still was dealing with was, A, you can, like, for me, it was really hard to breathe. Like, so I was, like, doing this, like, hold my breath and then opening my breath again. You know what I'm saying? It's a sensation that I can't compare it to something. But I feel like we've all had to do that before at some point, like. I don't know, whether it be like the pool or something like that, I don't know, but I definitely was trying to like hold my breath and like breathe at the same time. Right here I was chilling out. I figured out my little breathing thing. And I was really flying in the fucking sky, bro. 
That shit was insane. So look, when when you when they pulled a parachute, when they pulled a parachute or whatever, uh, two minutes and forty six seconds. When they when they um pull that parachute, you're literally just in the sky, like chilling, and it's such a slow descent that it's like insanely like calm. You know what I'm saying? Like compared to like jumping out and like having that adrenaline rush and thinking you about to faint, compared to like pulling the cord, it's just like. Yo, you're really chilling. Like, you're up here. And, like, the dude did a couple different maneuvers while we was up there. So, like, we, like, went left and went right and spent around and shit. Um, it was a good time. Uh, all right, yeah, let's finish the video. Oh, yeah, so while we in the sky, the dude was like, oh, how'd you like it? And I'm like, bro, we're still in the sky. <laughs> That's me landing right there. And, like, you came in pretty slow, but, like, you still had to have, like, a little bit of a running start to, like, not go all the way down. It was lovely, man. Um, another thing I didn't talk about is, like, the ear pop. So, like... The airplane, my ear pop, everybody ear popping the airplane, cool. But, like, you driving around California and some of these mountains, your ears will start popping. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if I'm, like, I think I'm hypersensitive to it. You know what I mean? So, when on my way down, besides, like, trying to breathe, I'm talking about my shit was popping. Like, I, it felt like somebody, like, rocked my shit a little bit. I was just like, ah. Like, you felt it all the way down, like, to your jaw for me. You know what I'm saying? So, I landed. And uh, it was just super, like, then I had the adrenaline rush I really wanted, you know what I'm saying? Like, compared to, like, everybody had told me, like, you know, oh, you be excited and stuff before, and then after it was just like, oh, that's, oh, man, my shit was like, bro, you just jumped out of a fucking airplane, <laughs> my nigga, like, and what's really cool is, like, so we went 12,500 feet up, so I jumped from 12,500 feet, um, finished the story, after I jumped or whatever, they took the parachute off or whatever. Woo, woo, woo. They asked me. I mean, um, I felt like queasy and I kept like putting my hands on my like knees and shit. I feel like I'm about to throw up, man. That was nuts. You must have, I wasn't scared. I wasn't scared. And now what? I feel like I'm about to throw up. Why? Where did the Hey, we did it! <laughs> we made it! Down. We made it! We did it! <laughs> we made it! Down. Did you love it? Yes. Yes, right? Yeah. Did y'all was kind of scared? I kind of closed my eyes. Hey, the guy was on in my lashes. Why did you make fun of my face? <laughs> <laughs> and why did you close your eyes? Yeah, I closed oh my, my eyes. God. The ear pop. I honestly did. Yeah, I Yeah, I do. I yell when I'm up there. Man, I, I go, yeah. Yeah. So he was like, fix your ear. I'm not worried about fixing my ear. Just lay it. <laughs> yeah, right? Just lay it. He's like, bro, you know. No. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and upload your video real quick. I'll be back in a couple minutes. Okay. Okay. Malcolm, what? what else, Malcolm? Oh. Huh? Yeah, All of our stuff is in there. Yes. <laughs> I I you did it. Oh, my God. <laughs> and then I was like, bro, I feel like I'm about to vomit. I went in the bathroom and I fucking threw up crazy. Like, I threw up super crazy. But after I threw up, I was fine. And the only reason why I threw up, like I said, is like, we was doing spins and I like, you know, you're jumping out of like 12,000 feet and like, I think that I'm like a motion sick kind of dude. I can ride roller coasters. I ride all the roller coasters. But what I don't do is, like, I can't get on the teacups with my daughter. Because, like, that spinning in a circle shit just does not do well for me. You know what I'm saying? But um, would I do it again? Um, hell yeah, I'd do it again. Uh, I wouldn't be the liaison of it. I wouldn't be like, hey, y'all, let's go skydiving today. I wouldn't be that nigga. But what I would do, um, say if, like, my daughter wanted to go when she got older, I'd go with her. Or if my brother or my dad, you know what I'm saying, somebody like, close to me. Needed a partner, I'd definitely join them, you know what I'm saying, and do it again for sure. But, um, hell yeah, that's my skydiving story.
<laughs> uh, I suggest everybody go out and do some wild shit that you've never done before. Um, try it out, man. Uh, you never know. You never know uh, how to make you feel and like what you'll take away from it. And for me, I took away from it. I took away from it. A is that a big deal? You know what I'm saying? Uh, I respect people that do that shit for a living because you're really giving people a really crazy experience. Like, I'll never forget jumping out of an airplane with the dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, and so he's a part of people's lives forever because of that. So that's pretty fucking lit. And um, yeah, man, you only got one life. So why not <coughs> jump out of a fucking airplane? You know what I'm saying? So thank y'all for watching. I'll see y'all next time on the Malcolm Cook Show. <coughs> <coughs> that was a terrible outro. Hold on, let me try that. <coughs> <coughs> All right, y'all. Like my video, subscribe to my video, uh, support me, man. Thank y'all for banging with me. I really appreciate y'all watching this. Do something that you never done before. Deuces. Nah, see, I had it until I did the deuces. That shit was corny. All right, here we go. Last one. Thank you guys for watching. Cut that shit off, man.